right, I'd like to share some uh, uh, adventures that the Lord has had us upon. I was in a, uh, Albany, Oregon, and I was with a very wonderful pastor, Denny Klein, and he was having one of his conferences there. So I, I was invited to speak. So I'm up there speaking, and I'm just having basically a pretty good time preaching. And all of a sudden, this uh, uh, wind of the anointing of pr prophecy just blew across me like this. Now, you can get the headlines of the newspaper. You can get CNN's report of this. All of a sudden, I stopped, and I wheeled around, and I said, there's going to be a major drug bust over here. It's going to be so big, it'll be in the newspapers. It'll be on CNN. And then I just stopped all that and went right back to preaching. Like, where in the world did that come from? A few days after I left there, one of the b biggest, largest drug busts, it made the newspapers. CNN came and did all the coverage about it. So that's what's got to happen. We've got to have ears to hear what the Spirit of God is saying and hearts to respond. And I'm telling you something. Sometimes you'll be just preaching along one thing and God will begin to say something to you. I was also in a little bitty town right outside of Tulsa, Oklahoma, in a little bitty town called Skytook, Oklahoma. And uh, I've got a friend that pastors there. And so we've been to his church quite a few times. So I'm there doing a meeting uh, with, at uh, Gerald Freeman's church. Uh, uh, so we're there. And so I'm preaching along. And the same thing almost happened. I said, why? There's going to be a big drug bust here. And it's going to shock you. It's going to be something by some of the businessmen right in this region. And oh, then I just start back up preaching. Now you can pull up the headlines of the paper right after we left. A big major drug bust happened and it happened uh, one of the businessmen there that owned a car dealership and they were bringing cars in and out of the state and that's what they was doing. They they were smuggling all these kind of drugs in and the paper, the, the paper just laid it all out. But that's what we've got to have. We've got to learn that God will warn us. God will begin to uncover wickedness. God will begin to show things through the prophetic anointing. And so uh, what we've got to do is just uh, uh, listen to what God has to say and boldly declare it. Now let me tell you something that happened that uh, just transcends territory borders. I was waiting before the Lord, just, just waiting before the Lord, and I go into a trance, a very strong trance. I see a three-toed dragon trying to pull itself up out of a cave. And it was trying to peer over with the most menacing eyes. And the spirit realm, I'm looking at it, and the Lord said, you see that? And I said, yes. And then the Lord said, I want you to go to Korea and I want you to stop a madman from starting World War III. And so I thought, okay. So I get a ticket. We go to Korea and I'm having a meeting now in a, a closed door meeting in a church, a church called Great Faith Church. Now, and I'm not, put, I'm preaching, but not, not out in the, I'm not saying what I'm saying out in a public meeting. We're in a closed door meeting with some government officials and the preacher. And so I tell them, I say, now, I'm here, but I'm here not to just preach the conference. I'm here to stop a World War III because this madman is trying to start a war. And I saw it through a three-toed dragon. And so uh, I say this in a closed door meeting. Now, watch this. This is a pretty exciting thing, I think. I go back from that meeting to my hotel room in Seoul, Korea. I open up my internet and put on my, uh, my uh, email. And there is an email from the Pentagon of the United States. And here's what they said. They said in the email, where did you get the name Three-Toed Dragon? And, they, and, I, and so my response to them was, I got the term Three-Toed Dragon in a dream, in a trance from the Lord. And so here's what the deal was. The, the Pentagon of the United States said, that's our code word for the military actions that we're doing around uh, North Korea at that time. And so in this, I get an invitation to come to the Pentagon and they said, we just want you to walk around. Now that's a step in the right direction, isn't it? And so I, I don't understand all about that. So the Lord hadn't given me permission to go. I've got permission from the Pentagon to come, but I have to wait for permission from the Lord to go. But isn't that an amazing thing? And God did. He stopped uh, what I believe would have been World War III. But I want to tell you something. The Bible said in 2 Chronicles 20, 20, trust the Lord, you'll be established, believe his prophets, and you will prosper. So I looked up the word, the Hebrew word prosper, and it means live at God's highest appointed level for your life. So I would encourage you to not shun the prophetic, but embrace the prophetic. Very important that the prophets begin to prophesy what God commands. There's a verse for the prophets, Ezekiel 37, 7. It says, so I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there came a shaking. Many of the places we go into, uh, God will testify to the fact that what we're saying is a true prophetic word with a uh, phenomenon. Sometimes it'll snow, sometimes tornadoes come, sometimes heavy r rain and wind comes, but 
I believe that God will do that kind of thing to testify in the natural about the supernatural. It is a very important time that we become who we say we are, the sons and daughters of the Most High God. This is a time to listen very clear, to follow what God says to us. This is an exciting time. God is showing. He's giving us clear direction. It's Psalms 119 verse 130. The entrance of His Word will give light. It will give comprehension and understanding of how to walk during these days. So God bless you to hear the Word of God.